the men who are offering these services don't at all grasp the total loss of freedom and independence that is required of these women. I mean, it is a form of prostitution, and I'm not necessarily saying there's anything wrong with prostitution, but this is a different form. This is one step further, and these men want these women to move in with them on a 24-7 basis, and in some cases share a bed with them. So I came across lots of these adverts on Craigslist, and in some cases they're offering a room where the woman would have her own room and be relatively independent, and they're saying things like, in exchange for a massage once a week or an adult cuddle, I think one of them used. You know, but there are others where the men actually want them to move in, like as a girlfriend. And I just, what I can't believe about that is they don't, it just hasn't dawned on them, like the, the complications of that, going from being a complete stranger to being in a domestic relationship and a sexual relationship. Uh, one of the slight similarities you could think of before, and the reason I'm asking you is because you've written a book about sugar daddies. There's a, mm. there's a hint of, of the sugar daddy arrangement here, but do you think this is a different one? There is, a little bit, yes. Uh, in, a, in a sugar daddy relationship, traditionally, where a man would um, want a sort of casual girlfriend and may give her um, expenses or gifts, or in some cases a cash allowance in exchange for her company. That's one thing, and many students have done that, but that the, the woman in the situation that still retains a lot of independence and a lot of freedom. Um, this is a, like a living situation, and also the monetary value of rent, you know, <laughs> just is not worth the 24-7 the type contractual arrangement that these men are requesting. I spoke to a lot of them on the phone, and what they it became clear that they were you know would be quite demanding and quite quite needy men is they were saying um things like there was one man who said that he had an arrangement with a girl at the moment uh, and he just couldn't um believe how much she wasn't home he spent about 20 minutes of the 30 minute phone call i had with him he was complaining about why the girl wasn't there, she wasn't home enough, um, and I just thought, oh my God, can you imagine living with this guy? <laughs> it's quite extraordinary, I and mean, you say, I mean, we look, we, we say it's, it's not worth the time, but London accommodation is extremely expensive. Do you think there are going to be those who feel almost compelled into trying to, of course, to yeah. fall into this? Yeah, that's the sad situation that we're in. And I would say about 80% of the men that I spoke to had done it before. They'd already had an arrangement. And in every case, it was a foreign student who may be more hard-pressed for living expenses because London is one of the most expensive cities in Europe. Um, so, yeah, of course they're going to be, um, you know, tempted by this offer. And I don't think many students, it seems to be targeted at students, who perhaps don't have maturity and life experience to realise just what, an invasion of space and privacy that this would be. Uh, what would you like to see? I mean, because there's the one risk, someone's going to see this and think they'd like to do this sort of arrangement themselves. What would you like to see from, from your campaign and your, your story? What I would like to see, obviously you're not going to stop this, and there are some women who might be happy with an arrangement like this. Uh, firstly, I think these adverts should be in the adult section of of Craigslist. There's no, there's no law saying that um, sexual service can't be advertised on a website, so that's fair enough, and some people want that, and that's fine. They can go off and do that. Um, Craigslist need, should, should be vetting these adverts, I think. Uh, and secondly, um, <laughs> I think a warning should be made to, um, to women out there. I mean, that's difficult to say, isn't it? Because, if they're tempted to do it, they're tempted to do it. Perhaps they just really need to think about, you know, what this would involve. But I think what I'd really like to see is um, the the men kind of taking a bit of responsibility, take, having a bit of awareness of um, how much freedom they'd be taking away from a woman. I mean, and some of the conversations I had with them, what they expected of a woman. It, to be living with her in close proximity really beggared belief. It just seemed that they had no, they were totally deluded with, in believing that a woman would be happy to do this. You know, there was one man who just did not stop calling me and texting me and WhatsApping me after I spoke with him. And then, <laughs> ironically, he said, I'm going to give you all your freedom. And then he just <laughs> was calling me every 10 minutes. So I think it, does, it hasn't dawned on them the idea that, you know, most, most people in a normal relationship want chemistry and they want um, mutual attraction. But these men just seem to want the companionship and they didn't really care about 
the woman. It just it, being female seemed to be enough. So I think what I'd like is a little bit of awareness on the men's side that you know what a normal relationship should be.